were traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but also of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of the imagination. And at the signpost up ahead, your next stop. Yeah, well, you know, I kind of thought I'd... Oh, jeez, no, turn that off. Thank you. Turn that on. Thank you. I always wanted to jump into the Twilight Portal with that kind of an introduction. Don't know what that's from. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, folks, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Feed the Creeper server. This is Eccentric4 reporting live from the Twilight Forest. Something like that. <sighs> okay, well, let's go ahead and get started here. I just popped in here, have a quick look around. Um, I did a little bit of exploring out here um, early. That's a big meteor. Um, a bit earlier. Um, I managed to find a maze. It's actually in that hill right there. Um, let's go take a look at it real quick. If you'll notice, I'm back to wearing my uh, my jetpack again. Hey, Boomba. Um, and that would be because I um, well, I I, I, I died. <laughs> to to put it very bluntly, how do I get in here again? I got in here once, and I don't remember how I got in here. Um, oh, that's a chunk here if I've ever seen one. Huh. Must have been when we uh, reset everything. Or, uh, blah, blah, not reset. The um, the update. Yes, yes, that would be it. And, ooh, a forest raven. Can I, can I, can I get a quote from you? Hmm? No quotes? Ah. Um... <laughs> Nope, that's not an entrance. I know it's in here somewhere. Did I even look at the top? Or did I just fly right over it? I just flew right over it. Uh, maybe this isn't the hill. Maybe it was different hill. I don't remember. Mm -mm. Anyways, in a hill similar to this, uh, there was a maze that I attempted to um, conquer, in a manner of speaking. And... I didn't get terribly far, mostly because I picked up two spawners that I uh, was very interested in. What are you? I love Wayla. Wayla! You got me on my knees, Wayla! Where is my port? There it is. <laughs> um, I picked up two spawners that I wanted. And, uh... Downloading to... Re Oof, ow. Um, okay. Uh, I picked up a Minotaur and Swarm Spiders, I think they're called. And I've added them to the mob, uh, well, it's like a mob farm, but it's, it's more than a mob farm. It's, it's not really a mob spawner either. It's like a tower of mobs, uh, down here. Yeah, there they are. I think I've got, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven or so spawners in there. Why isn't the thing spawning right now? Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can spawn. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. Yeah, it's, it's a good creeper. Um... But yeah, I picked up, see there's some skeletal druids, they've been in there for a while, a little bit of lag. Doink. And we got some blazes. Come on. Oh, and I picked up some silverfish from the stronghold. We should be seeing some minotaurs. There we go. There they are. And then regular spiders, yes, 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 very good, very good. We got the endermen, yes, yes, that's excellent. Uh, where are the swarm spiders, the little purple guys? Where are you? Come on, come on. Ah, uh, there's the wisps, the zombies. Oh, we're like going in rotation here. Cool. Oh, there went the minotaur. They dropped meef, so I got lots and lots of meef. 
I think. Where's my... Here it is. Meef. Yeah. Raw meef. Neat. There they are. Little swarm spiders. Sometimes they'll die on the drop, but it's all good. Oh, oh, armored skeleton. Cool. So they still do small... Okay, good, good, good. I was worried there, because I'm not getting as much armor as I used to get. Um, I think I need to go uh, raid another uh, roguelike dungeon. Whoop, 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 whoop. Stay on the elevator. Nope, nope, top. <sighs> I don't usually go this way. I actually, um, actually, I'll show you. Uh, ooh, perfect. That'd be a perfect lead-in to what I've been doing lately. Mwahaha. <laughs> So, as you guys have all, you know, been witness to, I've been clearing this area out to make room for that guy. But through here, there's nothing. I have quarried this out with my mining toitles, which I have appropriately named Hoss. The Hoss Turtle. He's in charge. Oh, actually, no. Hoss lays the fences. Yeah, that's what he does. He's like a rancher. And that looked like a creeper, but it's not. Fine. Um, so I've gone ahead and used my turtles to clear this area out. This is everything under the mm, base, I guess? And then over you've got the rest of the roguelike dungeon sprawling off in that direction. Uh, but basically what I'm trying to do is drop everything down to this bedrock level, uh, which consequently also prevents all mobs from spawning in this area. Um, they'll have to spawn in dark places like here or there, which I haven't lit up yet. Uh, but they will not spawn on the bedrock, thankfully. So that works out very well. I don't need to light any of that up. Um, the tanks here, I have built... Oops, there we go. Uh, you see these are steel tanks. Uh, this one's filling up with oil, slowly but surely. Uh, this one is full of lava, obviously. Um, you'll notice I'm taking down the, these are the iron tanks, Oop, there we go, that you can see here. The iron tanks have a capacity of, what is that, uh, to, comma, comma, carry the one, comma, comma, chameleon, about 10 million, and these have 20 and a half or so, a more, little more, more than 20 and a half million gallons, mwahaha. Um, so I'm bringing those down. I'm emptying them into the tanks when I build them, such as this one here, which I've just completed. Um, then I drain them, and then I tear them down. Because what I'm going to be doing, you'll notice I have these elevator platforms here. Um, I'm going to be laying out some additional layers of things. And for example, here, um, I think I'm actually going to use the asphalt on all the layers, because this is pretty neat. This is I've shown this before, but this is normal walking, you know, pretty simple, pretty slow. But you get onto one of these and you go, zoom, zoom, whoops. Yeah. So that'll make walking around a little bit easier when I'm not near the uh, the crystals, I forget, the cave crystals, whatever they're called, whatever they're called. I don't know, I don't remember. Don't judge me. Um, these guys still looking good, good, good. Yeah, I've, um, I've completed all of the solar panels and they are charging this guy wonderfully yeah that'll work um, but I think what I'm gonna do up here is you'll notice I took out the farm um, which at the time was a potato reed farm and I'm gonna put smaller versions uh, at least at least maybe on maybe not this level but one of these levels in each one of these quarters uh, put a different farm with a um, automatic harvesting system and planting system in them uh, just to keep that automated because what I had going on down there was I would I would physically rotate the crops around whether it be trees potatoes sugarcane or what have you um, based on what I needed the most at, at the time but uh, if we take a quick gander uh, boy I, would, I miss my speed crystal let's see you'll notice I have you know, plenty of spruce wood, uh, oak, plenty of oak, uh, birch, yep, plenty of birch, and potate, potatoes, see, uh, see, plenty of potatoes, and sugar cane, I've got more than enough sugar cane. 
But I don't have very many of the other crops, for example. I don't think I have very many carrots. Nope. <laughs> um, so that's a bit of a problem. I wouldn't say it's a problem, but I would like to have um, some more of the crops laying around. And I just figured these quarters would serve a nice vertical garden, vertical farm purpose. So that is the plan for that guy. But right now, you, know, you notice I've got an ender tank here. And a big empty tank over here. Whoop. There we go. This is the largest size tank, which is a 9x8. Um, the iron tanks and steel tanks are the same size, even though their physical capacities are different. This one holds more than twice as much, but go figure. I may be an engineer, but I'm not a physics major. Dunk. And let's turn the crank. And we can peek through this window right here. Wonk. Blue is input, orange is output. Oh yeah, look at that lovely, lovely, lovely creosote. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> um, and then what I'm doing is um, I'm keeping the drains off the sides and putting just simple one drain here and each tank, each liquid is going to have its own color... Oh, cool. It's like a light. It has its own color-coded... Um, Actually, I can just hover this. You see the the way the tooltip says black, black, white, and that would be for lava output from here. Um, I could hook it directly, or I could use the output directly from the the pump, which would effectively be this guy. Do black, white, black, and get lava straight from the pump. But I'd rather siphon it from the tank, as it were. And then over here, like I said, we've got oil that I've been pumping out of the Mushroom Mining World. There we go. And we have our tank that probably probably builds some refineries or something on, you know, one of these levels probably. And get some more power out of that. The creosote tank right now, as I hurt myself, I do miss my flying. Um, he's draining here. And then once he's done and drained completely, I'm going to tear this down. Um, and these coke ovens are going to, uh, they're all gonna, I need to put the pipes back in, but they're gonna pipe back into here. I'm gonna tear down this pipe, and these pipes are gonna run directly into that ender tank there, which is gonna sit up here somewhere. And then these will continue to burn coal. They should be stuck right now, yeah. Um, continue to burn coal and convert it into coal coke. And obviously the, the, byproduct is the creosote oil and then what I'm gonna do with this tank as you'll see I've got um, no that's the steel tank there we go low pressure boiler tank now I haven't done the maths on this and I haven't seen anybody doing the maths on this um, all I've seen the maths are how to get the most out of one um, which is the 3 by 4 by 3 which is the biggest one you can get Lots of maths on that, but I'm curious if I can do smaller ones um, and hook them up with to, to one of these, the, the industrial steam engines, and use them as auxiliary power, um, basically like a battery farm or something to that effect. Um, I'm not sure how I want to set that up, but that is the plan for the creosote oil, because this um, that tank was full. I think. Was that full? I don't remember. I think, it I think it was full. But where'd it go? Huh. One of life's mysteries. Um, but anyways, once that tank is full, obviously the lines back up and they prevent the coke ovens from creating the cold coke because they are stuck full of uh, the creosote oil and they refuse to continue to burn. Um, so I'm going to try to use that excess, because I could just void pipe it, you know, just get rid of it. But I hate doing that. I'd rather actually use something, because that's, for the creosote oil, that's like its only use, is because uh, we don't have uh, Greg Tech installed, so I can't use it in the sludge boiler. And the sludge boiler for, uh, who, who supplies that? 
Uh, sludge boiler. Oh, it's MFR. Okay. Um, there's a sludge boiler in Greg Tech that will burn creosote oil as a fuel, but that one here will not. Which kind of irks me because I already built it. So, anyways, you pipe the creosote oil into the low pressure boiler tank, uh, the liquid fueled boiler. This is like, this is what actually burns it, and then. You create the steam, then you output the steam through the golden fluid pipe into one of these because the golden fluid pipe you see is 40 millibuckets per tick, and this one requires 40 millibuckets per tick, so it's perfect. It will do very nicely. Um, and that's going to create some MJ, um, which is pretty much RF at this point. Um, they, It's like an auto conversion. That's how I can use the um, the quarry with a tesseract, actually, and a re and redstone conduit. It actually works out pretty well. There we go. I'm trying something out with the sound here as well. I don't know if you can hear that too well, but I'm still trying to work out the audio uh, oddities in my Linux system. So. What I decided to do, since I can only record either the game sounds or my voice at the current moment, I've got my speakers jacked up, and so my voice and the game sounds are trying to come through the speakers, but I don't know how loud the game sounds are going to be. We shall see. <laughs> um, I was gonna look for something, but I, golly gee, I don't remember. What in the world was I gonna do? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was going to try and set up the... the uh, the. Was I going to set up the boiler? No, because I don't have the root, the the floor done. Oh, no, because this was going to be farm. That's right. Um, wait, is he even... Oh, this is, this is the uh, sludge. Um, that's... Where's the oil? Oh, yeah. Down here! I don't think he's pumping. Uh, boy, howdy, that's dark. Nope, he is not pumping. Oh, that's right, I, I took down the... Duh. Come on, Eccentric, get with the program. Let's go set that up real quick. Uh, need one of you. I need... Redstone, I need one of you. I will need... Tesseract. 43 block box end. No, I want 43 block block receive. Doink. And I will need Ender Tankaroonie. Is that the right one? Black black gray. Yes, it is. It's going to break twice. Once. And twice for good measure. Yeah. I don't know why it does that, but. Oh, not this again. Here, bookie, 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 book. Here, bookie, 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 book. Um, ooh, my pick. Let's put that there. Um, what happens is with certain uh, items in your hand, for example, it happens with me the most on Tinker's Construct Tools, but you'll go to click a book, and instead of doing this and presenting um, this page, this open book, it actually just straight up takes the book, and it hides it or removes it from here visually, and it's actually in your inventory, but a quick check of your inventory will show that it's not even there. Um, but if you click and open the the book, and it'll show you the blank slot for the book, check your inventory, move stuff around, it'll eventually pop back in. Oh, static. Gotta love it. Alright, I have this guy. Let's pull up the map real quick and see if we can find some. You can see... Um, I don't know if my cursor is showing up here, but in the upper left of the green area, you can see it looks like specks. That was an oil well. There's one out here. Oh, crud nuggets. I forgot the stupid... <sighs> oh, yeah. That's good and loud. Oh, yeah. That's, that's how you do that. If you don't hear that... Um, 
click lag <sighs> the lag monster the lag boss oh god that was that was the most feared entity in the world of Warcraft forget the Lich King forget him just just forget all about him lag lag was your enemy uh, what was I getting the uh, da -da -da chunky yeah, audio's gonna kill me when he sees this. <laughs> um, I use them wisely. I know what I'm doing for the time being. Uh, hey. Alright, poke get in a direction. That's not the direction I want to go. I want to go off in a 45 degree angle to the right. Shink. There we go. The neat thing with the jetpack and hang glider is, I think I showed this in an earlier video, is I can keep flying higher and higher without using my jetpack to fly forward. So it's pretty nice. It's very, very nice. Alright. Uh, that's an oil well, alright. Let's hover it down. Let's get us some doit. We gotta make a platform. There we are. Oh, fudge. I had dirt. Dirt to dirt. Alright. Uh, eh, you're a little taller than the other ones. Well, one more for good measure. Let's go out, over, up, over. There we go. Place him down. We need a redstone. Thank you. There, because that, that'll convert. Because this only takes MJ. You can see in the uh, Wayla tooltip. Uh, whereas my tesseracts here are providing um, RF. All right, Ender tank, blue for input. Give me a chunk loader here. Now let's take a quick gander at the map. Let's click on the grid, and you'll see. Looks like if I go two chunks out... Oh man, I'm right on a border, aren't I? Nope, wrong button. Uh, no, there we go. Ooh, dirty. Uh, so that means it's going to go from that chunk. One, two, ah, that'll be fine. So yeah, two chunks. Let's just double check. And that's going to go over to there. Zoom back to there. That should do it. So we have a radius of two. That should work nicely. Let's place down our tesseract. Make sure everything's hunky dory. Check, check, good. Check, check, good. We are receiving energy. And the pump is pumping. And you can see he's already taken off the first one. Start to lower the. There you go. And this thing isn't going to really fill up because the tank's not full. Whatever goes in there goes pretty quickly to the other. Ender tank. Let's turn off the. There we go. Um, until that fills up, that will not. You won't see very much in there. You might see it uh, very quickly. Well, it's kind of hard to tell because it's got the end the void stuff looking thing. Oh, there's somebody's quarry. That's not mine. Let's go see whose it is. So I thinks I can tells. Wonk wonk. Let's see, we've got, all right, what's the lead in is green, 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 drafter. I think this is drafters. Yes. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, hello, drafters, Corey. Goodbye, drafters, Corey. Let's head back. Ooh, neat. Load chunks. Load, load quicker. That's neat, there's like little pockets everywhere. Huh. Not a lot of um, cave systems on this um, world. It's a, it's a one biome, uh, mushroom island biome that I chose specifically because you'll notice it's nighttime. There's not a mob in sight. I did manage to pick bright lighting. Oh, cool. Yep, see, there's one of the shafts for oil. Or in that case, I think that's... I actually... 
You know what? We're going to find out what that is. I think that's, um, excuse me, mushroom juice. I think it's, I think it's actually mushroom stew. So let's go through the loud teleport sounds. Whoa. And the lag. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Do, 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 do. Ah, there we go. Um, wow, eccentric. What was I coming in? Oh, right. Let's take a sample. For science! Um, are you one? No, but I do want to know what you are. Because this stuff, if you take a bath in it... So you get weakness, wither, satur... Or weakness, wither, and nausea. Whoa. Whoa. Thankfully, I've never been that drunk. Let's see, what are you? You are sludge. Cool. Okay, so ooh, so I could pump that into the uh, the sludge tank that I have, because the sludge creates um, in the sludge boiler will actually create random items, uh, things like pile of ashes, uh, I think dirt and cobble or something out of there. Um, there's a whole list of stuff on the wiki. I can't remember off the top of my head what they are, but it's neat stuff to collect, I guess you could say. Let's see... What are you? It is mushroom soup! Whee! Crisplash! Ah... Uh, sorry! 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 I'll get out! Sheesh! <sighs> My bad! Didn't know you took it so personally! Jeez! It's not like I peed in it. Yet. do 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 do, -do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, let's see. Do, 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 do. Got that, got that, got that. <sighs> and now we play the waiting game. Oh, that wasn't too bad. And... Show me something from the nether. 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 Woohoo. Netherrack. Anything. Nether quartz, maybe? Hmm? Tainted soil? Nothing? Oh boy. We got stuff to check out in the nether real quick. What the. Who the. Uh. What just happened? Um. Okay. Let's go up and just double check the nether real quick. I think I may be running this a little bit longer than I intended. Um, okay. Thor, did your drawbridge break? Or is it a dirt bridge now? Um, I don't know. Zoom. Alright, how's my jetpack? 14, that's gonna have to suffice. Let me get my weaponry out. Oh, that's right, I've got this guy in. Hoot! I don't gotta waste my jetpack energy. So we'll pop up here and check out the uh, Ender Quarry in the Nether. Which is, I need to see above me. I can't see above me. There we go. One thing I hate about the jetpack is every time you want to jump, it's like on. Even when you don't want it to be. Alright. So around this corner, there you are. You done? Yep, he's done. Oh boy, I don't have my turtle with me to cut down this fence easily. Uh, again, I don't want to make you guys watch that. So that's, I mean, this is a preview, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. You guys don't want to watch that, do you? I didn't think so. So that was a little bit of what I got going on today as we get really, really close. Boy, I need to shave. Look at that. That is a heck of a 5 o'clock shadow right there. Oi! Anyways, so uh, you guys take it easy. And uh, Oh, 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 by the way, I will be on vacation for the next couple of days. I'll be heading back to 
Ohio. The Ohio State. That's right. The Ohio State. Um, for a long weekend. Um, shouldn't impact any videos coming out, because... Yeah. Anyways, uh, just a heads up for the tweeters and the sort. I will not be terribly available, though I will have my phone, so I will at least have access that way. But no, 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 no. Ramble, ramble, ramble. <sighs> Anyways, guys, till next week, you take it easy. I will catch you later. Bye.